Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and finally getting to create the card that's been floating around in the back of my mind since I got the latest Honeybee release and was looking at the Snowbirds stamp set and coordinating die set. So I used the coordinating die that is supposed to cut out the outline image of what would be the snow for the little bird that's making snow angels. And I cut just a couple of scraps of cardstock with it. And I'm just taping them together with some adhesive so that it's a little bit thicker. My idea was to create something that looked like actual snow on a card front. So I have my card base here. It's just some heavyweight white cardstock. And I want to scrape some paste over this um, stacked die cut. So I have this um, Prima Snowflake paste that I just got recently and I can't say for sure if this is the texture it's supposed to have. I was kind of surprised. It's very, you can see here as I'm kind of stirring it up, it's kind of gummy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this though because mine did for sure was frozen all weekend. It sat in my post box. I didn't know it was there. We hit like minus 30 Celsius. So this froze completely. So I'm not sure exactly what texture it's supposed to have, but I was bound and determined to use it and it did work. I just kind of had to work with it a bit, but I just picked it up with a palette knife and I'm scraping it over that die cut onto the cardstock. And I had used a tiny little bit of adhesive to adhere that um, or hold that die cut kind of in place so I could scrape this paste. And I was rather liberal with the paste. And like I said, I had stacked the die cut a bit because I wanted the height of it and the dimension. And this paste, like it said, it's snowflake paste, so it's supposed to look like snow. It does have a little bit of glitter to it too, which is really fun. And I just went along and scraped it. I applied it fairly liberally to my card front here. And once I was happy with how it looked, I liked to like the texture of it and everything, I used a pin to just kind of pry up the edge of this die cut. And then that way I can remove it from my card here. So then I've got that impression of the little like snow angel, bird angel, you know, and then I set that aside to dry. I ended up letting it dry overnight because I had applied it so thickly. So I grabbed a piece of, this is just Strathmore cold press watercolor paper here. I had a scrap of it that was big enough and I put it in my mini misty and I used my anti-static powder tool and then I'm inking up that little snow angel bird and another bird from the same set with a VersaFine onyx black ink and stamping it twice because one didn't stamp it properly the first time and two I wanted to make sure there was a lot of ink here and then I'm coating it with black embossing powder I know a lot of people like using clear embossing powder over VersaFine I personally just like the look of black embossing powder more so I didn't have to stamp it with VersaFine I could have just stamped it with embossing ink it really was kind of redundant but that's where my headspace was at and I couldn't at the moment when I was doing this find my <laughs> VersaMark ink anyway so I heat embossed it because I like the raised edge embossing gives plus it's kind of makes watercoloring a little easier because it's easier to not go outside the lines when it's embossed. So I pulled out um, a few of my Gonsai Tombi watercolors. I had googled images of bluebirds and I had them on my phone to give me an idea of where I'm supposed to place color and bluebirds or these ones anyway have blue and then they have a little bit of brown on like their throat area basically. So what I did was with this first one, this was my first attempt here, and I used just the clean water first. So I'm painting wet on wet, and then I just added the blue, added the brown, and kind of let it do its thing, and then started adding the dark blue. And it was when I got to the bottom that I started kind of messing up. It's harder to tell on camera, but I had added a bunch of just clean water to the bottom, and as it started drying, it was looking really weird. I was kind of frustrated. I was like, great, I'm gonna have to redo this, because it just, it almost looked like the bird had been dipped in water is how it was drying. You can kind of see it on video here. I have sped this up, by the way. It didn't take very long to do these, but I sped this up just for the sake of it all. So after I did the second one and learned my lesson to not keep messing with it, I actually tr attempted to go back over the first one and this did work. I just went back over it with water and then repainted it and let the colors kind of do their own thing. So not going back and messing with it and let it dry. And I was happy with the end result. So if worse comes to worse, I could have just restamped it and watercolored it, but it just shockingly happened to work. It's fairly simple watercoloring. So I waited till everything was completely dry, and then I used the coordinating die cuts to cut these out. And then, like I said, I'd let this card front um, completely dry overnight. It was still really warped, though, because of how much of that paste I had added. Like, on the inside, it was warped, and I really didn't like how that looked. So I decided to cut off the back of this and use this as a card front. 
So I just used my Tim Holtz trimmer and trimmed this down so it ended up being four inches by five and a quarter inches. So I was able to cut through the thickness of that embossing paste on the side there. Got it all trimmed down and then I chose a kind of a light brown cardstock that'll be my base because it kind of matches the color I used on the birds. And then I have a scrap of the same cardstock and I'm stamping a sentiment from the Seasons Tweetings set. So I stamped that with my Versmark ink, which I found the next morning. <laughs> and then I stamped the Tweetings onto some blue cardstock. And then I also stamped the word Tweet from the Snowbirds set onto that same blue cardstock. So on the blue cardstock, I coated those with white embossing powder and then funneled that back into my container. I used a different coffee filter because I don't want to mix my embossing powders. And the word seasons, I used the black embossing powder on. Just because I like how that kind of popped and then it will make the tweetings like stand out more. So after I had everything stamped, I used my heat tool to melt everything. And then these scripty font words have coordinating dies in the sets for them. So I grabbed both of those and I'm going to same thing, tape those into place with some little post-it tape here so I can run those through my die cut machine. So I had those die cut and the word seasons I just trimmed down with my paper trimmer. And then I'm going to adhere this um, embossing paste snow angel to my card front. So I'm using... Uh, my Zyron Mega Runner here, and I am applying it almost a completely across the entire back of this. Applying a lot of adhesive because, like I said, it's bowed a bit and warped in the areas where the paste was the thickest. So I want to try and adhere this as flat as possible to my card base. So once I've got that adhered, my sentiments, I'd already put some foam tape on the back of. So I pop those up um, along the bottom of the card. And then for the bird, this was the idea I had mulling in my head the whole time is not only to create the snow with some paste but I wanted to pop him up on an action wobble and he just happened to be big enough for a regular size action wobble otherwise I would have had to use a mini or cut this one down so I pop the action wobble onto the back of my bird and then I'm going to peel off the backing to this and then I can pop this into place right in the center clear area of this card front and now he's like moving back and forth as if he's making little snow angels I was so happy with how this turned out it's so much fun when you know an idea in your head just starts kind of coming to form so for the inside of the card this is where I'm going to use my other little bird and the rest of the sentiment so I have the the stamped and embossed tweet and then the winter wishes is from that snowbird set so I stamped that with the Versify and Onyx black ink and I'm going to adhere the bird and the sentiment again with just my Zyron Mega Runner since it applies little dots it's easy to add it to small areas and then I can just use my fingers to quickly remove any little bits of adhesive that are sticking out. So got those adhered to the outside of my card or inside of my card and then to finish off the outside of my card I have some of the rainbow rhinestones from Honeybee and I was rather liberal with these since there was some sparkle in the snow and I thought this would just kind of really pull it out and add to the sparkle of this card. So I just used my multi-medium matte adhesive and my little jewel picker to press a bunch of these into place and that finished off my card. So I will have links below the video to my blog post. I will have links to all the supplies used if you are interested and want to check that out. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!